Well, what a moment. Dreams do come true. With a horse at 21, can you believe you're a Horse of the Year show winner? No. <laughs> um, no, like, when we got here, when I bought the course, I just thought, oh, as long as my round goes quite well, I don't care what faults I have. And then when we went clear, and then the jump off the four before me had all gone clear. So I thought as I went in, I've just got to go for it. And it came off. <laughs> but it's an amazing story. This is a 21-year-old horse. Um, and you only got the horse doing a friend a favour. <laughs> yeah, so um, a lady moved to the village and um, asked me to look after him, and I did. And then after about six months, she told me I could ride him. Um, and so the last five years, I've just formed a partnership with him, and this is where we are. Did you ever think it would take you to the Horse of the Year show when you were offered this horse five years ago, and then he was 16, I was sort of doing a friend a favour, as I, I say? Yeah. Um, to be fair, within the first few months of riding him, I thought he was something special and he has just been so amazing for me the last few years. Um, he deserves it and that's why I said to give him one last shot even though he's a bit old because um, he has been so consistent and brilliant for me that I owed it to him for him to have some little memory. <laughs> well, and you only just scraped in to the getting here, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, so up at the qualifier, so I went clearing the first two rounds and then in the third round, um, again, I went for it in the jump off, but I rolled the last pole. Um, and so I came eighth, um, and obviously the top seven go, but one of the ladies in front of me had two horses and they can't take two. So, yeah, I'm only here by, by a whisker. <laughs> but coming here, what were your expectations? And did you think you could win, or is it just the thrill of being here was the main achievement? Uh, yeah, no, just the thrill of being here. I've never been before, never qualified before, and been trying since I was a child. <laughs> um, and like, I know he can be amazing, and so it's quite nerve-wracking riding him because if I make a mistake, it's me, not him. Um, so I, I, I knew that on his day, he can do really, really well, but it would just be me being able to keep it together. So when you came to the jump off, you were fifth to go of seven. What were you thinking as you came into the arena? Well, just, so there's a TV screen before you walk down the funnel, and I'd seen all, th all four before me were clear, and the first two were pretty quick. So I thought, do you know what? Already I'm fifth if I don't go for it, so um, I just said we just got to give it everything, and it worked. <laughs> and when you were coming to the last fence, I mean, from us watching, it looked as if you had to keep him going. Oh, yeah, no, see, he's not a fast horse at all. Um, he's, always, he's very, like, complacent in what he does, but he just turns, and because um, he's so easy to ride, he never argues, we never... He's actually more efficient and faster than he looks, so any turn's very, very easy. He just keeps his rhythm brilliantly. Um, so he saves time and actually goes a lot faster than he looks. Um, so yeah, I was in two minds at the last, so to take a pull or not. And I can't even remember what I did now, but it worked. <laughs> and when you realise you go into the lead, I mean, presumably then that was just... A... Yeah, I think I screamed. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just hats galore for him and, yeah, I couldn't believe it. But normally... Show you ride, but clearly, normally you have a day job uh, yeah. as a teacher, so as a <laughs> PE teacher. So, um, you've got some bragging rights when you go back to school tomorrow, <laughs> yeah. So, it's an independent school, so we work six days a week. So, um, yeah, bless him, he doesn't get exercised as much as he probably should. Um, and that's what's great, so great about show jumping is you can keep doing it all the way through the year. Um, I do like eventing, but I just haven't got the time, and now I've got two children as well, and with my job. Um, I just find that the show jumping circuit around us is so good, um, such great classes that I can keep it going with my job, so it works. But when you go back into school, you can say, I'm a horse of the year show <laughs> champion. What will your pupils be saying to that? Or oh, well done, miss, or will they say something? <laughs> what will they say? Oh, no, they're lovely. And we've actually got quite a lot of riders at school, so um, um, there's quite a few of them that compete, so they'll understand how excited I'll be. Um, and, yeah, no, they're brilliant pupils. It's a really nice school and the children are really supportive, so... And for you, is this an ultimate sporting ach ambition achieved? Oh, yeah, definitely. To say I've even jumped here and then to be able to say I've won is unbelievable. So, yeah. Well, enjoy it. Well done. Thank you.